makes connections, some with good news, some with bad. We find out about pregnancies, vacations, and unfortunately, illnesses. When a healthy Lincoln mom posted about her cancer diagnosis, it caught her friends off guard. Even more surprising was the strange diagnosis for such a healthy 46-year-old. In this special report, I share a story of my former college roommate and her path to recovery from appendix cancer. You are so good at keeping everybody informed. Yeah, keeping everybody informed. You could say Facebook is the daily journal of Karen Freeman Wills. This active Lincoln mom of two posts about her family, what musical she's performing in, even what she eats every day. That's my thing. I like a little hashtag just to kind of carry the story along. My own connection with Karen started years ago in college at UNL as roommates. And through Facebook, we all found out about Karen's cancer diagnosis. I mean, I'd never heard of appendix cancer. You know, that's when he said, I'm like, is that really a thing? It exists, but is extremely rare. Only 500 to 800 people in the U.S. are diagnosed each year with this low-grade appendix cancer. Karen discovered her cancer through a dance injury that led to a lump or hernia next to her groin. A blessing in disguise, I guess, getting injured. After tests and surgery to repair the now two hernias, doctors discovered a large amount of mucus or mucin filling up her abdomen. So they ended up taking out my right ovary and my appendix. It was the appendix that was producing all that mucin and Karen needed cutting edge care. So she turned to Dr. Jason Foster, a surgical oncologist at Nebraska Medicine. The most important part for taking care of patients with this particular cancer is removing all of it. These tumors can kind of escape into every corner of your abdomen, so you need to be fairly meticulous. He says he thinks he scraped like four pounds of it out. So it's, it was a lot. We also removed organs, including ovaries, uh, the right colon, um, we took some of the inner lining of the abdomen was stripped. But the work wasn't done yet. For Karen's appendix cancer, Dr. Foster used a treatment called hot chemo. And the Buffett Cancer Center here in Omaha is one of the few places in the country to do the procedure. It treats the tumor by delivering this high dose chemo directly to the cell in the abdominal cavity and sense engulfing it. The other thing is we found is that cancer cells are very thermally sensitive and the heat is another mechanism to kill cells. Dr. Foster says Karen's prognosis is good and Karen is now home healing and continuing to spread her story on social media now with the hashtag appendix cancer. I'm hoping somebody will get diagnosed, see me and contact me and say, what do I do? And I'll say, Go see Dr. Jason Foster. Taryn Vanderford, 1011 Now. And you know, guys, uh, Karen has already gotten her message out about appendix cancer through social media and our coverage of her story. Cindy Sorensen commented on Facebook, I live in Lincoln and also have appendix cancer, or PMP. Thank you for bringing awareness to this rare cancer. Karen, we need to meet up sometime. And then, of course, Karen responded. She's so fast <laughs> to do this. I sent you a friend <laughs> request. Mm -hmm. So she really is getting the message out because it's such a rare cancer. Uh -huh. Bizarre, because she's so healthy. So bizarre. <laughs> Are. And, and yeah. of course, we hear about the bad side of social media, but I love this mm -hmm. story because mm -hmm. it shows the good side and, and well, what difference it can make. And I think it's important that you, you, know, you bring it to light because you just never hear of appendix cancer. And some people just might say, oh, it's just a pain. I'm not going to worry about it. And then it mm -hmm. gets worse and worse. Yeah. So. Well, Audrey Hepburn had it. Stuart mm -hmm. Scott on ESPN. Yeah. You know, those are some cases, but it doesn't come out that often. So Karen's doing well. I visited with her Monday, so happy to see. Cool.